Jesus. You know, at this moment, I see God placing upon every one of us the full armor of God, and I sense that God wants to remind every one of us the full armor of God is given to every one of us for a purpose, for a reason, because that is a weapon, a spiritual weapon that God has given, so we can defend ourselves. And we can wage a warfare against enemy stronghold, demonic power that is coming against you. Because with the sword of the spirit, you can move forward. And with the bread speak of righteousness, the belt of truth, the helmet of salvation, and the shield of faith, you advance without any fear. So as you begin to sing to the Lord, you praise God. You know you are fully armored. Every fear has to go in the name of Jesus. In times of troubles, we can call the God of Jacob, Amen. whose love endures through generations. Amen. We can call the God of Moses, the one who opened up the ocean. Hallelujah. Today, he's going to do the same thing as before. Hallelujah. We want to give thanks to Jesus. children then you hear your children now you are the same God you are the same God you answered praise back then and you will answer now you are the same God you are the same God you were providing then you are providing now you are the same god you are the same god you move in power then god move in power now you are the same god you are the 
same God. You were a healer then. You are a healer now. You are the same God. You are the same God. You were. You were a savior then. You are a savior now. You are the same God. You are the same. Holy Spirit, you are strong. Hallelujah. Give us the strength. Hallelujah. Give us the strength this day to pray. Yes, to pray. Hallelujah. To pray. Yes, Lord, we are calling Holy Spirit. We are calling Holy Spirit. I'm calling on the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Help us now. Hallelujah. Help us now. Hallelujah. Help us now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm calling on the Holy Spirit. Almighty river, river come, come and, and fill me again. I'm calling on the Holy Spirit. Almighty river come and fill me. Almighty river come and fill me. Calling on the Holy Spirit, Almighty River, come and fill me again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for tonight. That even at a very, very last minute call, we can come together because. In unity, we will stand strong, and we pray there is power, because we pray together as the body of Christ. 
So Father, we thank you for tonight for Dr. Daniel that is able to come and share with us to minister to us. So Father, we thank you. We want to say welcome Dr. Daniel right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, precious family. Shalom from Jerusalem. So wonderful to be in one spirit with every one of you today. It's not easy moment to be in live stream in these kind of days where we're passing through. Can we pray for this moment and asking Ruach HaKodesh, Yeshua Adonai, our precious Savior and Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask you, Lord, take total control of this situation. Everything that we discuss, everything that we talk today, Abba, only you, Yeshua. Speak, use my mouth to be your channel. The channel of hope, the channel of encouragement, the channel of restoration, reconciliation, and the time of pain. Use our voices to bring the really supernatural miracle reconciliation in this channel of time. Challenge time, hard time, painful time for Israel passing through. So many families evacuated, children from one place to the other place transfer, hostages still inside Gaza and all these discouragement all around, army ready to enter in. And Lord, only you are our hope. You are only our, the stream of life. And Yeshua, speak to us today what you want to speak. With your Shekhinah presence, with your gentleness and softness of your presence of Ruach HaKodesh of the Holy Spirit. Yes, and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, precious family, shalom, love from Jerusalem. It's wonderful to be the first time with you on Zoom today. Um, yesterday, I calling only for a few specific people. Uh, some of you maybe know, um, I was serving in the Israeli IDF Defense Security Forces for so many years. I know already quite long time re uh, retire from Israeli army, 11 years already. Uh, but all my friends called me yesterday, yesterday, five in the morning. And they say, uh, we are enter in. I say, what do you mean enter in? We are ready to enter in inside Lebanon. I call to our, our some of our pastors in Haifa. I call to the director of the Holocaust organization, Andre Gojarovsky, Helping Hand Coalition in Caesarea City. And we pray seriously what, how we can standing believers in this kind of challenge time. You know, Israel always have, some people say, this is the maybe end time. But listen, the only they entered the land of Canaan, there was already war. That's why so much happened here in the land from the beginning. And before I be giving to you more information what's going on, I not talk today anything about political issue. For all these 34 years to serving the Lord, I only sending the word of encouragement day by day. I already done today, seven in the morning, walking around mm -hmm. Jerusalem, praying for the walls of Jerusalem. There was not people. It's quite like very quiet moment, early Sunday day, Sunday day. And uh, I praying and walking around Jerusalem and I asking Abba, Father, Lord, giving the wisdom to Benjamin Netanyahu right now to this, all these uh, generals who is in this moment, because yesterday they had a very heavy demonstration. Maybe you're asking what's going on. It's everything the false what Israel need to enter to Lebanon in the war. 
but there was big demonstration in city of Tel Aviv, in city of Caesarea, and all around my house, I am living in the front of parliament, of the front of Knesset. Everything was blocked completely. Thousands of people come against Benjamin Netanyahu, against the government. And this for me, it's very painful because some of you say everything was happening in 7 of October because Israel not live with God's vision or destiny or purpose. They have Nova Festival, and that's why before, because of this has happened, I say to you, it's completely wrong. Because the Nova Festival is two times per year. It's already for many years, and we're praying, we're interceding, and we're praying for the God. We clean the spirit of uh, uh, New Age and all these kind of uh, spiritualities around the young generation. But what happened, there was exactly in, in Saturday, there was planned to have the biggest demonstration in the 7th of October after Shabbat, there was the biggest demonstration against the government. It was 40 weeks, 40 weeks of demonstration against the government. Israel was divided completely. There was no unity. And now we are believers understand where no unity, we opened the gate for enemy. And this was happened. Was, and you question how this possible? We have the best army. We have very strong um technology in idf israeli army we have the special new era technology we call this not only iron dome but with new sensor technology how it is possible with a three more to three thousand terrorists from gaza enter freely break the wall and enter to enter to israel uh, in uh, to villages but what I want to say to you, because Israel was divided and there was dangerous spirit, division is coming in the church, has happened to the enemy. Division coming in the government has happened like this. Everywhere you see where division and misunderstanding and conflict coming, it is what's happened. And it was, I understand right now the hostages, families, the mothers and fathers who still waiting for their children and be returned from Gaza, 120 hostages. But you know, Israel again in demonstration. And yesterday, 11 o'clock in the morning, the seven division of the battalions of the of, uh, of army of the tank division and more to 160 airplanes and 15 ready to enter to Lebanon. There was inside Lebanon was house, completely house. Panic, destruction, but remember, Lebanon, it's more to 45 to 50 percent Christian population, Greek Orthodox, Moronites, and so many Christian other ethics, Druze nationalities. This means it is not Muslim country. In the past, Lebanon was one of the beautiful nations the one of the best universities, and we call this like Beirut is the Paris, Paris of Middle East, of like France. That's why the Christian yesterday, nine in the morning, decide to demonstrate against Hezbollah, and they going in in Beirut in other four cities. We have some. Brethren, believers inside Lebanon, they contact through our connection in Cyprus and say like this, unbelievable what's going on right now inside Lebanon. They are Christian and also other Arabic people who is citizens of Lebanon decide no more control of Hezbollah inside Lebanon. That's why everything was stuck and Israel only watching what's going on inside Lebanon. But in the evening, we are all church praying. And I come to Jerusalem and I see more to three and a half thousand people close the roads and demonstrated against government of Israel. Please pray for Israel in this season of time. I want to really give it to you some word of encouragement today. 
You know, Jerusalem in Hebrew, Yeru Shalim. Yerusha is meaning inheritance. Shalim is double, double inheritance. Yeru Shalim, or the city of fullness and completeness. Yeru Shalim, the city of double inheritance, physical and spiritual. That's meaning Yeru Shalim. For me, to live here more to 30 years in Jerusalem is supernatural responsibility. It's a godly responsibility to be intercessor, to be the watchman in this city, Jerusalem. I was grew up in Galilee, and I know I'm more Galilean in my way of thinking, and but God put me here for the reason and purpose. He gave me to me the church in Tel Aviv to pray for the city of Tel Aviv already for 22 years. Pray for the city of Tel Aviv, pray for the young generation, for the next generation, Tel Aviv is the city of freedom. In other way, it's much more easy to evangelize in Tel Aviv, but not in Jerusalem. But in other way, Tel Aviv need prayers much more from any other cities. There was so much worldly things was going on in the city of Tel Aviv. And that's why I'm walking around Jerusalem, special here in the front of my house and the Knesset and Parliament, praying every morning for the right decision of the government. That's why God said, I put the watchmen, intercessors, prayer warriors, who day and night pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is an undivided capital of the covenant nation of Israel. Undivided. These people want to divide and to make the two states, it's not be work. Jerusalem is the place where God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob call home. Israel was always destined to be the channel through which God will bring salvation to the entire world. Amen. The Lord has been very patiently waiting for his people to turn from pagan practices, pagan feasts, immorality, anti-Semitism, and we every wicked ways so he can heal the lands of the nations. Amen. He called us to be royal priesthood, holy nation. Hallelujah. And I pray that Israel be back to God in extraordinary way. Because this in this season of stress and worry, we really need God. We really need to be depending of El Elyon, Aviad, Sar Shalom, the Most High God. The name Israel is mentioned over 2,570 times in the Hebrew Bible. And the Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4 says, very beautiful for us today, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse, verse 4 says, For the Lord your God is the one will go with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. In Hebrew, victory is nitzahon. Say after me, nitzahon. Nitzahon means eternal victory because netzach is mean eternity. Eternal victory. That's what he gave to us, what? Eternal victory. Amen. And I also see in book of Isaiah, very beautiful, popular verse, in 41. It's my favorite chapter, Isaiah 41. Chapter, chapter 41, verse 8 to 10. Come we're reading in some of you who have the Bible close to you. But you, Israel, my servant Jacob, who have chosen, you descendants Abraham, my friend. And 9, I took you from the end of the earth, from this Five corners, I call you. I say, you are my servant. I have chosen you. I have not rejected you. And then, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your living God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In these three verses, I see... The, but Israel, my servant, that's meaning God say Israel is my servant. Jacob, who I chosen 
chosen in Hebrew, tested. Chosen is to pay the heavy price. Chosen is connected with chosen God. It's meaning chosen is to suffer. It's not easy to be chosen by God. Some of you say, I'm chosen by God. Oh, God chosen me. Oh, it's not an easy word, chosen. You know, and I see he descends Abraham, my friend. He called Abraham, my friend. And I, he say also, and I call you from the, all the corners of the world. And I call you, and I call you. And I say to you, are my servant, God say again. I chosen you. I have never rejected you. Maybe you are living, you go into the other direction. You're always looking for the other God. But God say, you are my people. I never rejected you. So do not fear, Israel. I'm really with you 24-7. No matter what you're passing through. I will strengthen you and I give you power. Koach in Hebrew, koach in, 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 in Greek is a dynamos, like dynamite. It's explosion, power I'm giving to you. Koach, say in Hebrew, to help you. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You see, in Deuteronomy chapter 32, 10 says, He, God Almighty, keep him as the apple of God's eye. Apple of his eye. The promise of Israel in the past, present, and future is a prophetic biblical perspective. God has planned with this world. Amen. And the ultimate goal on this plan is a new earth and a new heaven. There is God will be glorified in Messiah Yeshua Christ Jesus. Amen. He will be glorified by people who have been reconciled with him through sacrifice of the Messiah, the King of glory. God has chosen people of Israel to implement his plan. Remember this, God chosen Israel and Jewish people to implement his plan, not our plan. Salvation is of the Jew. You will say, oh, this is a very radical way. Salvation is for the Jew. God's plan with Israel is like the diamond. With many faces, Jewish people, they're number one for diamonds. They know how to fix in diamonds, special temperature, how to polish. But the diamond has to scratch or diamond crush that you need to be crushed completely. Impossible to repair. That's why God said God's plan for Israel is like the diamond. With many faces, that face come to light and begin to shine. And we need to back to shine for the glory of God. We are maybe more to 30,000 believers in the land of Israel. We are, my prayer will be united, not divided. Because of maybe disagreement, uh, some political issues or disagreement, biblical theological things. We have the one important destiny and purpose. Why we are here. We also need to understand what time we live. The time is very sensitive right now. We need to understand the season and time we live right now. And not be worried. And not be stressed. And not walk in paranoia. But to really understand the time. And to prepare the way of return of our Savior and Redeemer Yeshua. The Messiah, the King of Glory. Through the nation of Israel. An entire world will be miraculously blessed. God has glorious future in store for Israel and other nations. Maybe share it. But before the time, many things must take place, brethren. The church, the church must be prepared for the new time. For the new time. And I want to read in this Paper what I prepare in this morning. I declare in this. And God said, get ready. Get ready for the great move of my spirit, says the Lord God. In the churches and in the homes. Just get connected to my spirit and follow the leading. Break through the barriers of unbelief. Break through the areas of confusion and misunderstanding and division. 
call forth my anointing and healing power. Expect this move. Oh, hallelujah. Look forward in this happening. Push through and enter in, says the Lord. And I will be there. Wow. You know, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 5, say in New Testament, let your gentleness be evidence to all. The Lord is near. We are closer and closer to the end times. We already see what happened around the world. But what is our believer's responsibility? How we be pray seriously in, for this season of time? You know, the church must be prepared for the new season of time. New season of time. You know, the, time, the name of Israel is divided from two words. Some of you maybe know, some of you maybe first time to hear today. The name Israel is separating two words. Sarah, a root word meaning to fight, to prevail, to have the power as the prince. And El, Elohim, mean to strength. Like we see in Isaiah 40, 29, meaning strength, might, especially as the Almighty. Amen? And I see this contender, soldier of God. And I find in Israeli concordance, say, one who will rule as God. That's meaning Israel. One who will rule as God. That's meaning God rule for Israel. We're passing through terrible time, painful time, difficult time. Maybe disappointed time and discouraged time. Yesterday, I raised up many of my local believers here in the land to we be pray for situation in Lebanon. And you know my prayer? To Israel be not enter to inside Lebanon. This is my prayer. Maybe I do wrong prayer. I don't know, but I feel, Lord, this is not the time. Lord, I pray to you prepare the army. I noticed so many rockets falling to, you know, the city of uh, Sfat in the north of Israel. The city of Kiryat Shmone, it's collapsed, burning. Hundreds of houses destroyed every day, rockets, rockets falling. Only yesterday we have more to 60. All together in this short period of time, more to 640 rockets only in the north. We already know the south is completely destroyed. I'm entering to Gaza already two times inside Gaza with Jabalia. With the, um, I'm uh, here registering press media, and I enter inside in the city of Jabalia. Wow, what I see! I also visit the kibbutz, the near Oz and Nahal Oz and Beeri. I have two days don't want to speak. I not talk to my wife and not to my daughter and, to, and no, I not answer the phone because what I see with my physical eyes. I was disappointed, discouraged, pain in my heart. I walk in the ashes where the people was burned, where they cut the fingers of children, where they, where they are, I entered to the house of Biba's family, where they are, maybe you see the pictures of, of uh, red color uh, kids, uh, they're inside right now in Gaza. I was visited, they opened the house, and I see the same everything, the the toys on the on the floor and the sofa is blood. And I'm walking around and I feel very bad. I pray. I don't know how to pray. I'm walking around this kibbutz. I see uh, every every house was burned, burned, burned. And it ashes, ashes. I said, Lord, my whole family died in Holocaust. My, I, from both sides, I'm from rabbinical family. My, my, from my father, no one survived in Auschwitz, in Poland, in concentration camp. And my mother's side is only my mother and grandmother survived by miracle. One Catholic nun take, the, take her by miracle out from Auschwitz, from Poland. I grew up with these painful stories and I walk in here and I see the ashes and it break my heart. Where is the God who will rule as God? Where is the God Almighty, the creator of the universe? Why you not help us in this moment? I really have the questioning, questioning myself in a painful moment what Israel passing through. I don't want to be live stream with you today to complain. 
But I want to, you really understand what we're passing through right now. God's miracle nation, past, present, and future. Israel got the giving destiny. Israel got servant nation from punishment to destiny. Wow, it's very hard. From punishment to destiny. Israel is the land which God say uniquely, prophetically, like I mentioned before, redeemedly and repeatedly in the Bible, this is my land. God said, this is my land. Oh, Lord God. And this is your land. Why has happened to us? This meaning we need to back to God. How we be evangelized, how we be sharing the good news to my brethren, to my neighbors, to my friends, and everything is catastrophic situation, terrible, painful. Israel past difficult, painful history because chosen by God. Remember this. I repeated this. Israel is the nation of the promises. It's always been, it's now, and will always remain so. You want or not. God say, my right hand, God say, my right hand be upon my people. Upon my people. Like, I, remind me, like the parents discipline their children when they misbehave. But the children remain their children forever. So the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob disciplined the children of Israel when they really forsook him, where they forget him, where they are rebellion against him. Israel, God's miracle nation, past, present, and future, and we're more understanding this, what God is preparing us for the season of time. We see this, the beginning the, in the Bible say his end begin and end with the Jewish people. God's plan for salvation begin and end with the Jewish people. The nation of Israel has significant prophetic rule in the future events. Many of prophecies made to Israel thousands of years ago will be fulfilled at that time. It must be understood that it's not because Israel deserved to have special rule in the end times prophecy. Because they don't. <laughs> Sometimes when I walk in the streets in Tel Aviv, in Jerusalem, I see how the people misbehave and there are many young generation full of tattoo and worldly, completely far from God. And how this we become in this tremendous special rule in the end times is because of promises God made to the ancestors, Abraham, that it will be happen. You want or not, it will be happen. Amen. God called Abraham to leave everything, everything, everything he has familiar with. In exchange for promise that will take the sanctuaries generations, even millennia, to fulfill. Oh, huh. Even through Abraham, we'll see every little of the promises fulfilled during this lifetime. They obey God and trusting that God will keep his promises for more that he did so circumstances which most people have disobeyed and quit the trust God. We see this very clear. My prayer, brethren, Israel will recognize. Remember this. You'll be maybe asking, what is you, messianic believer, to be the local in this land, citizen of Israel, the citizen of Jerusalem? What is be your prayer? You want to listen? Israel will recognize and embrace her unique relationship with their God. This is my prayer. Again, I want to say, my prayer is, Israel will recognize first and embrace unique relationship with, with her God. Amen? Remember the first, the Bible is filled with Israel. 
all Bible believing people shall stand with Israel no matter what. The Bible is filled with Israel. All believers in the biblical believers who understand the end time purpose must stand with Israel. The Bible introduced the God of Israel and so many scriptures and dedicate the people of Israel and the history of their destiny. And second step for us today, the believers, the followers of Christ, the Christian, have a common destiny with Israel. Amen? Our ultimate destiny is manifest the kingdom of God in which Jesus ruled from the throne of David in Jerusalem. Amen? We say in Isaiah chapter 2, from 2 to 5, and Isaiah, in, uh, Isaiah chapter 2, from 2 to 3, and also Micah chapter 4, from 1 to 4. But what I want to say, the third step for us today, because Israel is unique and special nation to God. In Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. Now, therefore, in Hebrew always, and we're reading, therefore, it means wake up, be prepared. If you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, that you shall be my peculiar, special, extraordinary, special treasure to me about all people, for all the earth is mine. Wow. The same is saying Deuteronomy 14 verse 2 and Psalm 135 4. The Lord has had chosen Jacob and to himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. And the fourth step for us today, the believers Christians also are precious, peculiar treasure to living God. You are precious because God has a tremendous, we are one new man in Yeshua. No more separation between me and you because I'm pure Jewish and you're from Gentile. Does God say, now God break the wall of separation between me and you, between Israel and Gentiles, between the Jewish people and the nations, Christian. And look at this insane book of Titus, chapter 2, 14 says, book of Titus in New Testament, chapter 2, 14, who give himself for us that he may redeem us from all iniquity. And purify unto himself a peculiar people, jealous of good work. Wow. Both Israel and the church are said to be peculiar treasure to living God. You are precious to God. You are so wonderful. You, God is preparing the Gentiles for this. Be ready and equipped for the end time. Amen. And the last one for today is because God said he will bless those who bless them. Amen. You know this, all the verses. We have instruments. Please do that. This is prophetic song and movement time. And those of you... Are you going to pray and read Romans 11? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, the word says in Romans 11... Verse 7, what then? Israel failed to obtain what it was seeking. The elect obtained it, but the rest were hardened. As it is written, God gave them a spirit of stupor, eyes that would not see and ears that would not hear, down to this very day. And David says, let their table become a snare and a trap, a stumbling block and a retribution for them. Let them, let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see and bend their backs forever. Verse 11, so I ask, did they stumble in order that they might fall? By no means. Rather, through their trespass, salvation has come to the Gentiles, so has to make Israel jealous. Now, if their trans trespass means riches for the world, and if they, their fail, failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? Father, I want to thank you for your word. And even as we release it right now, it is a reminder to us, the Gentiles, that salvation did not come to us from any nation, but Israel and your Jewish people alone and alone. 
And for this, we are grateful this evening that we can come and release our intercession from the nations, right from the Far East, O oh Lord, to the ends of the earth. We release our intercession for Israel. And Father, we thank you that because of the collective people who are standing with Israel, friends of Israel, Father, there is anointing and power of breakthrough. And we want to declare and decree that breakthrough over Israel at this time in their situation of war and Lord, dire straits of all the enemies that are surrounding Israel. And Father, we cry to you collectively as your nations, as your Gentile nation, Lord, we want to stand collectively and we want to stand in the gap and to bring before you the Jewish nation, O oh God. Lord, the apple of your eye. Lord, and, your, and the pain that they are going through right now. We stand with them, Lord, and we cry to you, hear our intercession from the nations. And we ask you, O oh God, Lord, that truly, O oh God, you have saved us that we may bring the gospel back to Jerusalem, back to your is back to Israel, and back to the apple of your eye. And this is the hour now, not just by giving, not just by going, but also in our intercession, O oh Father. We cry to you that Lord, indeed, at this time, when when they are in dire straits, when they have no one to look to, nobody can help them. Lord, you have provoked, you have caused Israel to come to this dire straits in order that you may call the Gentile nation to provoke them to jealousy. And so right Amen. now, Father, in all that we have done, giving, standing with them, Lord, I pray that at this time you will open their eyes just as you remove the scales, Lord, yeah. from the Apostle Paul. The scales was removed from his eyes that he may see the Messiah. I pray that at this time you will remove the scales from Israel. Lord, that even during this war time that they will see the Messiah, that even as you visit them in dreams and vision, they will see you, O oh Lord, for who you are. The Messiah whom, Lord, they have crucified in ages of time. And they will come into repentance they will come to cry out unto you, Abba, my Father, I see you. Oh, Yeshua, my Messiah, I see you. And I pray, oh, Father, that, Lord, there will be an exodus, oh, Father, of Israel that will come into your saving knowledge. Lord, even as you hem them into every direction from Gaza to West Bank, Lord, to Lebanon and to, Lord, the northern part, oh, Father, and in every part, Lord, you are squeezing them, Lord, yeah. into this war that they will see you and they will see you for good and they will cry out unto you, Lord, that, God, they will see you as the Jewish Messiah whom they have crucified. And I declare and I decree during this time of four months more before Sukkot, Lord, as we are entering into the month of Tammuz, Lord, and into the month of Aif, Lord, we pray that they will see you and they will come into your salvation. Father, we can feel the pain of Israel. We can feel the pain of the Jewish people. We can feel the pain of the families that have lost their loved ones. We can feel their pain. There is nothing else we can do except to look to you, Lord, who is Abba, our Father, our Father in heaven. Lord, of the Jews and Gentiles, O oh Lord, the one new man church, O oh God, that you have caused it to come forth, that, Lord, you will hear our cries and you will hear our prayers and you will come and save them right now. In the name of Yeshua, we thank you for the word that has been given by your servant, Lord, Pastor Daniel. We hear it clear and loud. And we ask okay. that right now, even as, Lord, you have promised in Ephesians chapter 2, that there is power and anointing when the one new man church come together. And we tonight are the one new man church. And you have heard our prayers. You have heard our intercession. And we pray that indeed there will be many miracles that is going to happen it, from tonight onwards. Lord, the Jews are going to see and open their eyes, especially the religious Jews. They are going to see the Messiah, Yeshua. Lord, they're going to see the in on the streets, they're going to see the Messiah. Lord, in the families, oh God, they're going to see the Messiah. Lord, and we pray for strength to come upon the Messianic congregation all over Israel. They're going to see 
strength coming upon them and they will not die, oh God, but they will call upon the name of Messiah. They will call upon the, the Jewish Messiah and they will be saved. And this is your promise for us, that whoever calls upon your name will be saved. And I pray for a multitude, multitude of people, oh Lord, exodus of people coming out from the Red Sea, coming out from the bondage, coming out, oh Father, from religiosity to see you who you are. We declare and we decree right now in the name of Yeshua that it will happen today, today, in the month, coming into the month of Tammuz, coming into the month of I, coming into the month of Elo, before history, they will see you and we will see salvation is at the doorstep and we claim right now in the name of Yeshua. Father, strengthen IDF, strengthen the soldiers, strengthen the battalion. Strengthen them, O oh God, in this hour, O oh Father of the war. Do oh, not allow you. any more of your beloved to die, O oh God, but save them. Save everyone. Do not allow them to die anymore. There is enough. And Lord, we come against all the deception, Lord, that is amongst the nations. That is, Father, you continue to forgive our nation as well, as well, where I'm representing. Forgive our nation. And right now, let the truth prevail. Let the present truth, let the present rhema word prevail across the nation to defeat the lie of the enemy. I ask all this and I pray all this in Yeshua's name. Amen. And okay, I'm going to interrupt for one. Uh, Amen. Can I ask Reverend Joe and Reverend Wu to um, decree with music? And uh, we're going to decree open eyes, open ears, open mind, open heart, open spirit. I've actually uh, asked God what to decree. I've actually written it uh, about an hour ago. And um, Pastor Sharon Joy from Malaysia has also shared about. Uh, eyes with scales, with eyes and not seeing. Um, this decree was simply given to us last year when the Lord sent us to Turkey and Israel. Throughout the whole journey, uh, this is our key to unlock, to decree, open eyes, open ears, open mind, open heart, and open spirit. To the Lord. So, can I ask all of us right now to cooperate me? Thumbs, pick your drum, pick your tambourine. You don't have to turn on your microphone, okay? And then together, together in power and in conviction, calling upon the Lord to open the, the eyes, the ears, the mind to understand and heart and spirit so that we can receive the people in Israel can open left minds and grace the unique relationship with Yeshua. Can we do that? I'm going to pass this time to Reverend Joe and Reverend Lee. Can we do a five minute decree with music and movement, the sound and movement and Brian, you are from UK. Thank you for coming on. I know it's a different timing. Yeah, you can prophesy and decree with your flute. And those of you who have instruments, please do that. This is prophetic sound and movement time. Our worship. Open your open eyes, open hearts, open Open eyes, open ears, open minds, open hearts, hallelujah. Open ears, open eyes, open hearts, open minds, yeah. yeah, yeah. Weapons may be formed, but it will prosper, hallelujah. 
When the darkness falling won't prevail Cost of God I serve know how to triumph My God will never fail Yes, my God will never fail Open eyes, open eyes, open ears Open minds, hallelujah. Open hearts, open spirit. Yeah. Open hearts, open, open eyes, eyes, open ears. Hallelujah. Oh, Ramase. Open hearts, open spirit. We will declare, 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 declare. Hey, declare, declare, declare. declare, declare. declare. Open hearts. Open eyes, open ears, open minds, open spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. The weapons may be formed, but it won't prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Cause to God I serve, know how to triumph. Hallelujah. My God will never fail because I'm going to see a victory. Yes, I'm going to see a victory for the better belongs to the Lord. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory for the better belongs to the Lord. Open hearts, open mind, yeah. Open ears, open eyes, hey. Open eyes, open ears, open hearts, hallelujah. Open minds, open spirit, yeah. There is power in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Every war he wages, he will win. Thank you, Jesus, yes. I'm not backing down from any giant. I know how the story ends, yeah. I know how the story ends. I'm gonna see a victory, yes. I'm gonna see a victory. Victory for the battle belongs to the Lord. I'm going to see a victory. Yes, I'm going to see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Let's declare hey, open eyes, open ears, open mind. Thank you, Jesus. Open mind. And 
you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Let's declare. Open eyes, open ears, open hearts. Open minds, open spirit. Open eyes, open hearts, open ears. Let's let hear the salvation of Open hearts, open ears, listen to listen, open hearts. 
Hey, hey, hey. 